So my friend was having a lot of trouble when his four-wheel drive system was under a lot of load. He wouldn't get any power to the front wheels. Let's take a look. Keep her coming, you're doing great. All right, hold on a sec. So the reason that that problem was happening was in the transfer case, there's a big chain and that chain can develop slack over time and then it skips teeth and that's that pop, 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 pop sound. James, oh, hey, wait a sec, man. That, that popping, I don't know. I don't think you want to push it this deep in this mountain. So I made a 3D model so me and my friends can discuss this stuff and we're using these augmented reality glasses to do it. Check it out. Do it once more there, um... Okay. I really want to get this transfer case visualized. Yeah? Because it's so cool. This is, look at that. Well, the, the only, only problem, problem is, is you have, have the drive chain, chain with the red to the back axle. It's, it's actually, actually the front, front axle that's happening. Well, well, both, both axles, axles are red. The, the thing, thing that went wrong, wrong is yellow. yellow. Oh, but you, you, you don't have, have a front drive shaft, though. Yeah, 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 it's on, on that other side. side. It's, oh, it's my side. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you can see there's a whole holographic overlay of the paint. Hey, hey, if anyone's still watching, watching this video, this, video, this, this is, is this really, really, really cool, cool, cool concept. Cool. Like, like, imagine you actually have something you had to do and you could do it. It's like, oh my god. No, slowly. Like, keep going. Keep doing it slowly. How are you going Oh, yeah, 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 right here, right there. Whoa, but, but yeah. Sam, go to the other side. Go to the other side and try and see where the front drive shaft is. You, you can bend down and see it underneath. Yeah, yeah. this is that's crazy. crazy. I've this got is, the best this is amazing technology. We've hey. got the engine. We, we need, need to get people involved with the transmission and technology. Well, <laughs> okay, so here. Yeah. Sam, Andy, can you tell me a little bit more about it? Yeah, yeah let, let me tell you. you. So, uh, we were coming down and we heard on the Common 4x4 channel that there was another group coming. I don't ever want to do that again. I'm serious. No Plug. more beer in the Plug. <laughs> no more beer in the fucking scene, okay? So, so we, we were coming, coming down, down the trail and we heard on the common radio, hey, there's, there's another group coming up the hard way. And that, that meant we needed to make room, room for these guys, guys right? right? And, and so, so I pulled, pulled off, you pulled off behind me, then what? Um so we, we heard on the radio, me and you who was the lead truck? It must have been Shane. The lead truck was Lady Reg. Lady Reg was leading. And you see what she got into a good position. I actually backed up to where Annie was because I was ahead of you. 
Yeah, yeah that's right. right. And I actually, you would pull off to the side. I backed up behind you and pulled in behind you. I pulled off too far. You, you. You pulled off a little, just a little too far, <laughs> just a little, just a little around the corner too much, and um, that was right here at this zero point. Unfortunately for me, without a front differential working or a front, my transfer case was not working. Well, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll show some footage. My, my front, my front axle was not having low torque bearing. Um, it was just slipping all the time, so I only had a front or uh, rear axle. Sorry, I only had my rear axle going. I had to get winched out. And then, and then Andy did his darndest. We got a okay. slipping transfer case chain here. Front drive shop I'm not recording. Story's changing. That thing gonna make Jimmy Ray happy. Well, and this is what I was gonna do anyway. Was I? I know. And that was his decision. I respect it. I lay down the low mode. You don't need, you don't need to use too right. much. You don't, just make it in reverse. You'll be fine. Get in for it. Yeah, he I was tried, I was gunning. He it. tried more like you like I'm Let's just say, I think there's a reason you had to get your transmission or your TK service. Yeah, I think that is he was, unfair. He was pushing that thing to try and get out of there, but it was not happening. So Sam, don't, don't film me head. And we had, we, had, we, had a, we had a good pull out, two people pulled out in one little obstacle, just because we were trying to make room for the home. Yeah, we're going to um, look at that winching scenario in a moment, but I, I want to tell, tell you about, about this, this uh, transfer case. case. Because, because this, this is, is the, the first time, time that you had, had that, that trouble, trouble, right? No, no I've, I've, I've been dealing, dealing with this issue for three or three four, four years. years. At the beginning of the video, I showed you all these problems, and especially this, this obstacle, this really rocky area. Well, my friend got a new transfer case, and you're about to see what he can do. Let's look at that box. I found these great pictures online and what you'll notice is this really big fat chain here. And um, let me get another angle here. If if you notice, here's the chain. The transmission sends the power into the transfer case, and on the here's the back prop shaft, and here's the front prop shaft. So that chain is what transfers the power into the four-wheel drive system. And here's a cutaway. You can see the vehicle again. Here's the chain right here, and the front prop shaft and rear prop shaft. So. Again, what was happening is this had developed too much slack and it was making it skip teeth so there was no power going to the four-wheel drive system. 